know, I, I understand I'm trying to kind of wade through this whole thing, but in the end, God, I just, I just want, I just want to hear clearly like, what you want me to do, because I'll do it. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. who invented uh, Veggie Tales, that children's show. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, Phil Vischer, he ex- his latest thing is, he explained it life like, uh, you're like a jellyfish. and Because a jellyfish actually has no control over its motor skills. Um, its only ability is able, it relies completely off of the currents and its only ability is to go up and down. And that's kind of, he's saying that's like life. We are able to internalize things differently, like going up, and, life's up and downs, but really, the way that the currents move, or the way that life goes about, is beyond our control. And that, that's something, it, it, that's really, really big to kind of wrap your brain around sometimes, because it, we, we are so desperate for control. Like we are trying to yeah. create some sort of security in something like life is forever changing. So to put your your faith or t- try to gain some sort of uh, solid whatever it, it, it's searching through throughout the world kind of thing. You're never going to find it because it's like, it's, it's a discontentment, it's a disconnection within yourself. Um, yeah. Yeah, and so it's really just coming down to, uh, yeah, redirecting your focus. What do you want your focus to be? And when you hit those tough times, then it's like taking a step back and it's going like, wow, um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have no clue. I mean, you see yourself, you know, five more years, two years, I'm like, I don't know, 
we make it like one more record, two more records? I'm like, I'm telling you, God can tell me to stop tomorrow. Yeah. And if I was truly being obedient to him, I'd be like, yes, Lord, what now? Let's do it. Yeah. So, uh, in the end, like, if it makes it to the one-year mark and we break up on Wednesday night, you know, <laughs> yeah. okay, we got to release eight records. We were able to have communication with hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Only in the end, people that they're like, hey man, that really talks about it. You are he was obedient, he was true to Jesus when it came to writing music. Um, you know, and he was always nice to me when I saw him. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming that the support that you get, like now too, like through these hard times, you got your band, your family, um, like who else do you reach out to? Like what's your support group like now? You know, I mean, at, my wife and I and our children, we go to Rapid Lawrence Church in Iowa at uh, Bethel Church in Iowa. And you know, there's a lot of encouraging words coming. You know, I have the opportunity to play. Stuff yeah. Church a lot. Yeah, which is so um, cool. So, you know, it's really cool that they let me do that. You yeah. Know? Um, but I have a lot of, of friends that are pastors out of all over the country um, that just maybe they were, they, maybe they're youth pastors or maybe they were youth pastors and now they're youth pastors, whatever. But a relationship that we built over the years where it, it's pretty incredible where just randomly uh, one, of the, one of the pastors will send a message being like, hey, thinking about you, praying for you, but I'm a hard today. Hmm. Hope you're doing great, blah, blah, blah. Or they just randomly call and like, hey, what's up? Just want to call and check in. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so it's, it's crazy. I mean, I feel like God brings, uh, you know, people into my life for certain seasons uh, that I need to be in contact with at that time frame. For sure. You know, to kind of help with this bouncing around and probably my way through this journey. Mm-hmm. Um, but man, my, my wife is Best person I know. Awesome, I mean, she's man. She's literally just the best person I know. So uh, she and I literally were bouncing stuff off of each other and You hmm. know, at the end of the day, we talk for an hour or more just about what happened during the day. How yeah. The next day. And that's um, so important to have. Yeah. yeah. To have that open communication where you just, it's a safe place and you just can just share everything that's on your mind and what you're feeling kind of thing because you got to get those stuff out and yeah yeah huh 